Hey, today was the first day I really used my tractor. Got it back after being in the shop all summer. Uh, man, that took a lot longer than expected. But, uh, you know, just happy with it. Doesn't look great. It's not a wonderful looking tractor, but it starts as soon as I turn the key. And now the hydraulics are all fixed up. Put a new pump on the three-point hydraulic. The lift works, four-wheel drive tractor. So I'm really setting pretty good with it. Uh, got very little of uh, investment financially because I bought it just, you know, at a great deal and then had uh, bought it knowing it needed some work and and had it fixed up. So that worked out really good for me and uh, I'm really happy to get it. First time using a new tractor to me, not new, but new to me. Okay guys, so today you saw the video, I brought down some hay. I brought it down for the pigs. We had, uh, last night was the first really night we got uh, down below the 40s, which we got into 39. These guys here, they're seven, eight months old. They really don't need it probably cause they've got this entire section of woods and leaves and brush and everything. They get in pretty well. But I brought down some hay for two purposes. One, for them to nest in, and two, for this area here around the feeder. It seems like the areas around the feeder, I don't know if it's the minerals that get left in the ground where the feed gets spilled out or what, but it doesn't seem to grow back real well. There's a little spring area here, too. You can see it stays wet right in here. But we brought down that hay. For this group here, we brought it down one for nesting and two for the carbon material to be added back to the paddock in which they're in. So that's what we're trying to do there. Uh, trying to do twofold with it, trying to restore some carbon and put down some seed, you know, that it's in the bale. So we get this old junk hay from uh, a friend of ours that does quite a bit of hay. He always has some that gets left outside. Trade him a few pork chops and a pack of sausage and end up with a couple of bales of hay. So. Works out good for him, works out great for me. 
he gets rid of the hay that you know really otherwise wouldn't be used and okay so here's the second roll we put in into the mama's pen gave mama in her little pen a good spot and some extra hay to nest in today's her due date she's miserable she's got to go soon as you can tell her vulva's really swollen really swollen right you can see that her milk's in i just don't know when it's going to be and again the reason i put her in here is because those smaller piglets over here was trying to nurse her and i was afraid they'd take all of her colostrum so put her in here and see what happens so another round bale hay in here that'll give everybody again uh some nice bedding in the cooler weather and here where it kind of got where i feed all the time and we had that four inches of rain two weeks ago it kind of got beat up a little bit and this will help put carbon back on those areas so hey guys thanks for watching uh thanks for watching the video we appreciate as always you watching us here on our little farm our little piece of farming sometimes i'm even hesitant to call myself a farmer because i'm so small so maybe i'm a homesteader maybe i'm a small farmer but i do what i love to do and hope that i can help you do that as well by maybe teaching you a couple things or showing you a few things as always guys hey thanks for watching We'll do it all again tomorrow.